What's up guys, today I'm gonna show you how to make anthemic rage type beats for Trippy Red, Lil Uzi, Sofago, um, yeah. And you just heard the beat in the beginning, I'm gonna break that down for you. Um, and um, yeah, before we start, um, go follow me on Instagram, um, go check out my latest sound kit. Um, this loop is actually from the sound kit, so um, you might wanna check that out if you um, <laughs> like it. Um, but yeah, let's get straight into it. So this right here is the project for the loop, for the melody. Um, this is what it sounds like. Yeah. Um, you already heard it. Uh, so there's the first sound right here. Let's look at the MIDI real quick. So that's the MIDI for it. I just uh, had to export it because my laptop's trash. So um, <laughs> yeah, that's why I have the audio file in the playlist. Um, yeah, but that's the MIDI for it. Uh, you can see it's like your classic chord progression right here. Um, yeah. And then these notes down here, um, I just copied some notes from the chords like and pitched them down an octave just to give it a different vibe. So it's not just this chord progression that we've all heard a million times. Um, yeah, but I mean, it, it still sounds like it, but there's still, I think there's um, a nice twist to it. Um, and it, with the, with the, um, with the serum sound, it sounds really anthemic um, and, and like big and wide. So this is the sound for it. Um, yeah, and I just layered this with um, this synth right here. Yeah, same exact MIDI, you can see that. Um, and it's also from serum, from a serum bank, from synthetic, um, yeah. And it just sets the right vibe for, for the beat and everything because it sounds like these chords, they sound really anthemic and um, just just great in my opinion. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I have this lead melody over here. Let's look at this MIDI. So um, yeah, this basically the lead melody it's pretty repetitive um so it gets like stuck in people's head if you want to know like a di in depth video on how to um come up with these lead melodies you can check out the video that pops up in the right to top right corner right now um yeah in that video i go in depth in how i make these uh, lead melodies but basically it's just um like tuning the melody to a minor and then uh, playing around on the white white um, notes on your MIDI keyboard or on your laptop keyboard, whatever, um, because A minor only uses the white notes, so you can't really do anything wrong. Um, and then you just like play around and see what sounds good, really. Um, yeah, and then also the synth bass. Oh, I didn't show the, the preset for, for the lead melody. Let's check that out real quick. Um, the synth bass, I, I took out the synth bass um, like during the beat because um, you obviously want an 808 playing. So you don't want uh, these two basses to clash. So I, I only have the synth bass play in the beginning and during the break um, in the beat. And then for the verse, I added this this other melody right here. This is a, a nice plug melody. Uh, let's check the preset for it as well. It's a sound from Serum. Let me just uh, show you real quick. Uh, so it's this plug right here. And you can see it's not like, I mean, it's not like a, a normal melody, but it has like this triplet flow to it. So the way you do, do that is you go over here, um, set it to one third beat, and then you can like, um, yeah, play this uh, triplet flow. Uh, and that's what I did with this beat, um, but this plug only plays during the verse. Um, yeah, 
to switch it up a bit. Um, yeah, and then in the end, I got the stems playing individually. So other producers, um, if you want, if you cop the loop kit um, or the, the whole sound kit with an Electra X bank and MIDI's and everything, um, you don't have to stick with the arrangement that I got going on over here. But you can like uh, switch it up and do whatever you want, really. Um, yeah, that's that's it for the loop. And now let's get straight into the drums. So right here we have the project for the drums. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick how it sounds. Yeah, I mean you already heard it in the beginning. Um, so I started a really simple, or I mean, I started with 808. <laughs> So the 808 just follows the bass notes of the melody, um, but it has like this um, little stutter thing in the in the beginning, um, which adds a lot of energy in my opinion, and it really like gives it this emphatic vibe on the drums. Um, you can see like everything's turned up, the velocities and everything, but I also turned up the boost right here, um, which like makes it ha hit even harder. And yeah, then after the 808. I uh, went on to the clap, nothing crazy on the clap, just a basic, yeah, just a basic clap, really. And then I have this uh, sound effect playing, which is like, um, you know, like a church bell or something. And this really emphasizes this anthemic vibe again. Um, and you can see I really went... I really wanted something anthemic and yeah, just some rage anthem type shit. Um, yeah, and then the hi hi-hats, uh, nothing crazy on the hi-hats. Velocity is turned up all the way to yeah make it hit even harder. And then um, I have the triplet flow again because the melody is in uh, the triplet flow. So I have the hi-hats play it as well. Um, and then open head. Gives it a nice accent. Um, yeah, and that's really it for the drums. I have this little riser to like lead into the hook. Um, and then over here I have halftime on my master channel. So it adds like a nice vibe to the outro. Yeah, this is like a very sick outro in my opinion and it like it finishes the the whole anthem vibe um yeah really nice outro um yeah the way i did this just half time on the master um just these are the settings that i used and then uh, mixing wise for the drums um 808 bit of eqing bit of eqing over here as well uh clap bit of eqing and then uh, uh, like a reverb which is turned down to only five percent so you can barely even notice it um hi-hats um, i turned off the effect tricks because yeah it didn't sound really good um and then panomatic to give it a bit of movement and a soft clipper um yeah and then open head reverb again and a bit of eq and cutting out the lows because it's an open head so pretty like you want the high end um yeah that's it for the for the mixing really and that's also it for the for the beat the whole beat um i hope you liked it if you if you did um you can get this loop and a lot loops more in my latest sound kit it comes with an electra x bank with more than 50 presets um, it comes with 40 midis as well so i would really appreciate your support and um yeah, follow me on Instagram as well. And now have a great day.